In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to earn passive income through real estate and property investment coming right up. My name is John Lee and if this is the first time you come across me, my channel is all about creating multiple streams of income and growing and starting businesses from scratch. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on all the new content that I'll be uploading. So the first thing you want to think about when it comes to creating property passive income is using what we call buy to let. So buy to let is when you can buy property and you can let it out. It says exactly what it does on the tin. So let's say right now you have a property that's worth 100,000, let's say, right? I know property in the UK and all around the world is a lot more expensive than that, but I'll keep the figure simple. So let's say you're able to earn, let's say the rent is 700 pounds, but you're able to rent the property out at 500 pounds. So what do you make? You make 200 pound profit. So that's one way people make passive income in property. They actually buy a property with the purpose to let that property out. That's hence why they call it buy to let. So that's one way you can start earning passive income from real estate. Okay, the second way to make money through property investment and real estate is to make sure that you can actually do what we call flipping houses. So that means you can actually buy a house low and sell it at a higher price. A lot of people say buy low, sell high. So here's the secret to this. The big mistake I see a lot of people do is they buy a house at the market value. They'll spend maybe 10, 10 to 20,000 renovating it and they'll try and push the price up. Well, in a market where there's a recession coming or where there's some virus that's stopping people from uh, you know, stunting the, the economy, then that's pretty hard to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a property that's full market value and then you wanna negotiate a 20% discount on that property or 30%, 30% is ideal. I think a lot of the properties that are on the market right now, you could actually go and make an offer on these and you know some of these people will say yes, some will say no, right? Some won't, some won't, some, sorry, some will, some won't, so what? So that's just exactly how it works. So think about what houses you could buy right now and you can buy at a discount to the market that you can sell for a much higher price. Okay, the third way to make money in real estate is by using commercial property. So let me give a classic example of something that one of my family members did. So they have a Chinese takeaway and what they did is they bought this building and uh, this building had uh, two floors. And so the first floor, the ground floor, um, was basically used for commercial purposes. So, you know, one side was a Chinese takeaway, the other side turned it into a real estate agent. But upstairs, they would have a flat, so, so level one and level two, so sorry, there's two levels with the ground floor, so it's three in total. They actually put more flats in there on, on, the, on the second floor and the third floor. So you're making money from the Chinese takeaway, and then you're making money from the real estate agent, and then you're making money from renting the properties out. So all in all, when you actually create that commercial property, there's multiple streams of income within one one property and the goal is to have, earn enough income to refinance all the money back out so all the money you've put in to actually create it guess what you get all that money back out and then you can go and do the same again so that's how a lot of people use um, commercial to actually start earning passive income okay the fourth way to start earning passive income property may not be a house itself it may be a land or real estate where you've where you've got uh, control over it so a lot of people when they go and find properties they actually source the land first but it's okay to do that, but unfortunately, sometimes land can be very expensive. So you can use something called a lease option, right? A lease option, the lease actually controls the rent of that property or land, but the option gives you the right, but not the obligation to buy. Now, actually, I have I created a video many years ago on the topic of lease options, but if imagine right now, everything's all about control, right? When you can control something and not own something, then there's less risk. So a lot of people, to, to make a options agreement legal, it's only like, like a dollar, right? Or a pound. So there's gotta be some kind of physical transaction that goes through that makes that valid. So lease options or options agreements are a really good way to control and buy land. So there's a story of a friend of mine who saw this go-kart circuit and he literally thought, well, I wonder if I can get planning permission because he used to work for the council. So he knew where you could get planning permission. So he took a option and he put an option on that land. He then got planning permission and sold that for a lot of money to a developer who developed the houses and then the developer then sold the houses. So that's one thing you can do. So sometimes when you're looking at real estate, a really good tool to use is Google Maps because when you look at people's houses, you can see how big the gardens are and sometimes the gardens can fit more than one house in there. So let's say, for example, right now, you did a massive garden. You could actually buy one house, get planning permission in the garden, build another house, refinance that, and that pays for both houses, and now you're no money down. 
So that's another strategy you could use and by using options to control land, a very, very unique, powerful strategy. In fact, it's a really good book written by one of my mentors. His name is Vincent Wong. And it's called Property Entrepreneur. If you go to Amazon, you can check it out. But that book talks a lot about controlling options and, 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 and transacting property, not as a buy to let investor, but as a property entrepreneur. So the fifth way to make passive income real estate, I wanna tell you this one, this one, you're gonna love this one. Again, if you've loved this content, you're learning a lot, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on other new content and also make sure you hit the like button because when you like the the video youtube will show you more of my videos that show up so the fifth way to do this is to use what we call buy low rent refinance so how does that work so let's say for example right now you you see a property on the market for a hundred thousand and then you buy that for eighty thousand using negotiation skills and then the property of that price goes up as you're renting now as the property goes up you can now take the equity from that property out of that property. So again, a family member of mine, he paid off more, a lot of his mortgage, so he had a lot of equity in there, but he needed money to actually build this thing in the commercial um, property. So what he had to do is, well, he had to find the money. So he went to his house and withdrew. It's almost like having, imagine having a ATM, but the ATM is a house because when you build equity, then you can pull that money back out and you can use that money for either other real estate investments or you can use it for physical investments, buying stock, buying bonds, uh, become an investor in a company. So the whole idea is when you're building assets, assets will put money in your pocket, whereas liabilities take money out of your pocket. So a question for you is, which of these five property and real estate investment strategies are you looking to use? Leave a comment below and so I can come in and, and find out some of the things that you're doing, maybe give you some little advice on some of the things that you're doing. Also, again, if you like this, make sure you subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and make sure you hit the like button right now and because it helps YouTube, again, find my videos. I'll link some more videos here and here. I'll leave a subscribe button over here as well. And this is John Lee, the author of Business Hack. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.